AIG Ed Liddy is citing contracts as the reason that he has to dole out millions of dollars in bonuses with taxpayer money. There's no attempt to do anything uh, under the stealth of darkness or undercover. We wanted to do what was right in these contracts. The contracts called for a payment on March 15th, and we've done that. We've been talking about this uh, within the board and within the, with our rep representatives of the Federal Reserve literally for three months. Well, it's ironic that he cites a contractual obligation since, as the head of all state insurance, Ed Liddy fired more than 6,000 agents who had contracts. Joining me are two of those agents, Ron Harper and Ian O'Connor. Gentlemen, thanks for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. Good Bill. morning. Ron, let me start with you. You worked for Allstate for 10 years. You had a contract that you say that Ed Liddy broke. How? In uh, June the 30th of 2000, Mr. Liddy, after frustration with employees not converting over to an independent contractor status, fired all 6,200 of those employee agents, 90% of who were over age 40, and forced the contract upon us. Uh, he broke one contract and forced us into another contract. And, and in fact, Ed Liddy asked those 6,000 agents, as you say, to become independent contractors so that they would lose their expensive medical benefits. He also asked them at that time to sign a pledge that they would never sue the company. Um, Ron, you didn't sign that pledge, and now you're involved in a class action lawsuit against Ed Liddy. What are you suing him for? Actually, Allison, I did sign the pledge under advice of the EEOC who told me that if I signed that and they found it to be illegal, it would be a moot point. Now, Mr. O'Connor did not sign it. I'll let him gotcha. address that. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you what? for clarifying that. Ian, you didn't sign and you're suing. What are you suing Ed Liddy for now? Well, basically, we're suing Ed Liddy for uh, breach of promise. We, uh, I was a 30-year uh, agent with Allstate, and uh, at the stroke of a pen, Ed Liddy decided to get rid of everybody and uh, convert to independent agent status, and if you didn't like that, you could leave the company. Ian, I'm curious, um, what would possess Ed Liddy, do you think, to take over this troubled company, AIG, for just a $1 a year salary? You're, you know him well. What do you think his motives are? Well, I find it very strange that Mr. Liddy was on the board of Goldman Sachs. Uh, Secretary Paulson was an ex-chairman of Goldman Sachs, and uh, decided that Ed Liddy was the only person in America that could uh, save AIG. And yet, one of the first payments that Ed Liddy made from the TARP money was around $13 billion to Goldman Sachs. Hmm. Uh, Ron, what do you want to have happen now? Well, we're in litigation and have been for the last uh, eight years. Of course, the EEOC is suing Ed Liddy in, in addition to uh, the AARP. Uh, hopefully that our uh, claims will be borne out in the litigation once, once we get through the courts. Hmm. Uh, Ron Harper, Ian O'Connor, thanks for joining us today to explain how your contracts, in fact, were broken. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. On uh, a stream.